four, and green flag flies. We are underway for the sport mods. And one and two, three wide, and that's Dakota Sproul moving up through the middle of battle for the lead up front. J.R. Ewing and Drew Hilt, and Ewing's going to take it as they run in three and four. Dakota Sproul still trucking through the middle of the track. Lap number one going to go to the two, C.J.R. Ewing. Drew Hilt right there, right behind him, hot pursuit, then Vogel. Sproul now, problem for Hill. He'll slide up, and that'll give second to Vogel. And he's got to go to Sproul, hot on his trail to the outside, side by side. That's the battle for second. Give it to the 08 of Dakota Sproul coming out of turn number four. Now Sproul to the bottom, new leader coming out of turn number two, the 08 of Dakota Sproul. Ewing running in that second spot, Vogel, Watts. Then it's Leno, Walt, and I believe that's Fondensteel who's got some door panel problems. Three wide, one and two. Watts, Vogel, and Leno now taking the advantage of that dirty slide job is the 14, Blaine Walt. Walt goes all the way to second now in three and four, and he sets his sights on the 08 to go to Sproul. They battled last night in Colby, and they're going to battle again here tonight. Dakota Sproul, Blaine Walt running 1-2. This is how they finished last night at the Thomas County Speedway. C.J. Fondensteel with more problems. He's dropping back through the pack. As Dakota Sproul across the stripe now, and then here comes Blaine Walt across the stripe. Then it's Tyler Watts, J.R. Ewing, Colton Vogel, Holloway and Clemino, Gray, Watoon, Bell, and Leno. And around car up on its top. That's the two CJR Ewing and red flag out in turn number three and four. Red flag out on the speedway. 77 W Watson third. Green flag flies. We're racing once again. And Dakota Sproul with a good lead there in one and two. But Walt going to drive into the bottom battle for the lead. Coming out of turn number two. They're side by side. And Walt still got a nose in. Sproul going to clear him. Wade Bell squirrely down the back straightaway. Now Walt jumps up to the top shelf. Three and four trying to run down the 08. These two battled week in and week out around each other. 08 Dakota Sproul gets a little too hard into one and two. And new leader the 14 W Blaine Walt down the back straightaway. Sproul back into that second spot, then Watts third, and now Holloway and Gray going to do battle. Gray has that four spot. Holloway wants it, and right behind him is Jarrett Leno. That's your top six. Watoon back there in seventh. Sigler, Skirtland, Gruber, Bell. Mopping and around goes Skirtland, Gruber, Bell. Those drivers involved as well. And that's going to bring us under another caution. Caution's out on the speedway. Per IMC, Hobby Stocks, Blaine Walt, your leader, Dakota Sproul, Tyler Watts, the top three. Green flag flies, we're back to racing. And Watts now up into that second spot. Dakota Sproul slides back into third. And now trying to make it three wide, and Watts slides it out of turn number two, and Dakota Sproul back up into that second spot. And three wide, the 21 of Mop and Sigler, and Wittoon through three and four, but up front, Blaine Walt still your leader as he works his way off into one and two, Dakota Sproul. And Tyler Watts, your top three, Holloway, Leno, Gray, Sigler, Wittoon, Moppin, Gruber, Hilt, Tabor and Skirtland, but back up front, it's still the 14W of Blaine Walton. Around goes the 21 of Moppin. 12H of Hilt on the brakes. He spins trying to avoid, and the 21 is still going. 12H of Hilt still setting up there in turn number three and four, and another caution. Pulls into the infield. Walt leads him back to green, and we are going once again. Dakota Sproul to the outside, able to hold on to that second spot. And now he sets his sights on Walt as Holloway tries to take a peek to the inside of Watts for that third spot. Can't make it happen. They're going to follow single file for the top four cars down the back straightaway into three and four. Cross flags your leader, the 14W Blaine Walt with Dakota Sproul in hot pursuit. And the 10 c Watson's got a problem. He's slow on the front straightaway. But it's Walt, Sproul, Watts, Holloway, Leno, Gray, Skirdland. Saber, 
Gruber, Moppin, Hilt, and Watoon. And skirtling around in turn number four. And cautions out once again for the 14 of Brady Skirtland. Tyler Watts. And here we go. Green flag flies. We're back to racing. And Watts tries to stick it to the bottom of Dakota Sproul. That's the battle. Little contact there. And now Holloway there to the inside trying to take third away. But Blaine Waltz still able to hold everybody off. And he jumps right to the cushion through three and four. Dakota Sproul running around the bottom. Slides up. But still Blaine Waltz at the stripe. He is in command of this one. Everybody chases the red 14W around the track. And Watson Holloway still continue to duke it out for that third spot. Watts has it. Holloway not going to give up. Walt jumps to the cushion again. Three and four. And Sproul going to follow him. And now they're going to cross the front straightaway. And around goes the 21. And we stay green as he keeps her rolling. Good job there by the 21 to keep her going. As Blaine Walt pulling away from the field. As he again to the cushion. Three and four. Dakota Sproul. Taylor Watt, or Tyler Watts. And around goes Watoon in three and four. The seven of Jarrett Leno involved as well. And another caution out on the racetrack. Set for the restart again. And green flag flies. We're back underway for your IMCA hobby stocks. And a good jump there by Tyler Watts as he's able to take that second spot. But again, through one and two, the 14W Blaine Walt pulls away from everybody, turns on the afterburners down the back straightaway and jumps up to the cushion three and four. He's going to lead it coming out of turn number four. Watts, Sproul, Holloway, Hilt. And then Kevin Tabor. 32G Jason Gray, Cameron Gruber. Seven, Jarrett Leno, Brady Skirtland, Joey Moppin in. Toby Watoon and up front, everybody still chases the red bumper of the 14W. And now Holloway trying to take that third spot from Dakota Sproul as they went through one and two, but Sproul able to pull away as they work down the back straight away. Walt, Watts, Sproul, Holloway, Hilt, Gray, and Gray's going to lose a tire in three and four. Top three cars getting set. Three laps decide this one. And green flag flies. We are underway. 14W Blaine Walt does a good job of holding off Watts and Sproul. They're going to go side by side, one and two. But Watts going to take it now. Side by side again down the back straightaway. Battle for that second spot. Dakota Sproul drives it in deep, slides it up. A little contact. And Dakota Sproul now up into that second spot as he sets his sights. On the 14W, Blaine Walt, but laps are winding down. We got a lap and a half left. As drivers book it down the back straightaway up to the cushion, Blaine Walt's going to get the white flag. One more lap to go for the 14W. And 27G of Gruber slow in three and four. He's back up on the pace. Down the back straightaway, Blaine Walt's got a nice lead back to the 08 of Dakota Sproul. And out of turn number four, checkered flag flies. It's Blaine Walt. Briny Motorsports, your racing headquarters in western Kansas, has some big news, and I mean really big news. Briny Motorsports is now a Can-Am ATV UTV dealer. If you need a vehicle for the farm, off-road, or track, Briny Motorsports has a Can-Am vehicle for you. They're tough, durable, the right price, and they'll make your heart melt. Check us out online, Facebook, or heck, why don't you come on by for a little looky-loo on East 8th in Hayes. Remember, we have your back at the track.